Hey guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel. Today I am a day late because I was out of town last night, but it's okay. So today I'm doing my nine week update and I'll tell you my symptoms and about the baby and all that other good stuff. Except I'm not going to measure my belly today because I can't find, I can't find my measuring tape. I don't know where it went. So let's, let's just start with symptoms this week. I'm still extremely sick. I am not sleeping very well. My face is like continually flush. Like you can see this. Like, I'm just, I'm just flushed. My pregnancy brain is like kicking full swing. I can't remember what I'm doing. Can't remember where I put things. I lost my rings last night. Like legit thought I lost them. Didn't realize it till this morning. Could not find them anywhere. I got home and I unpacked my bag and they were in my sweatpants pocket. I don't remember taking them off. I don't remember putting them in the pocket. I don't remember anything. So yeah, pregnancy brain is really bad. It's, it's weird because like I'm throwing up so much but I don't have heartburn at all. Like I just, I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up so I throw up and then I'm good until I eat something and then I feel like I'm gonna throw up again. But I just don't have heartburn so that's cool because I mean I used to have like stomach ulcers and stuff so like I was always burning. So that was really uncomfortable whenever I was experiencing that but currently right now I'm not experiencing any heartburn. I am experiencing a lot of hair loss which I've been talking about recently. Shortness of breath, complete exhaustion, uh, irritability. Very irritable. I'm sorry. Okay, so about the baby. Week nine is the size of a cherry. It is approximately 0.91 inches, so next week we'll be at an inch long, which is super cool. The baby is no longer an embryo. It is now considered a fetus, so that's awesome. Baby is developing more distinct facial features. Baby might now have a strong enough heartbeat to be picked up on a fetal Doppler. Yes, it is. I'll put a clip that I did last night of it in here. It just makes me so happy. At nine weeks, your fetus measures around 0.9 inches and weighs about 0.07 ounces. We are now in month three. It's no longer an embryo. It basically means it's becoming more and more baby-like and you're inching closer and closer to leaving the nasties of the first trimester behind you. <sighs> Thank God. I really hope that I'm not one of the, wow, I am so flushed. It's ridiculous. Like I haven't done anything. Like my face, my face does this when I drink. Uh, see, like baby brain. Fireball. Whenever I drink Fireball, I get like this. Like I, my face feels like I've been drinking, and I have not. I'm just flushed <sighs> and out of breath. Yeah. So that's awesome. Let's see what the baby looks like. It's about what the baby looks like. So we think. And, all right. I'm still feeling like it's a girl, but I've actually had a few dreams recently that it was a boy. So now I'm like, wait, what if I have a boy? That would be so cool. So I, I, don't, I don't even know. Like, I mean, of course I want to have a girl because I've always thought I was going to have a girl, but now I'm like, wait. I want a boy. I just, I just don't know. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea. All right, let's talk about me real quick and then we'll be done. Okay, how far along? Nine weeks, one day, total weight gain. I actually, I, f I didn't look at last week's video before I did this, but I think I may have lost the pound, but I had a lot of jalapenos last night. So that contributed to a very decent BM today. So I think I lost a little bit of weight. Plus I'm throwing up a whole bunch. So I'm not really gaining weight right this second. I can't show you my belly measurement. I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta find it. I don't know where it is. My sleep is sucky. I am very much so enjoying my new pillow. This is the one I got from Walmart. I'll put the link for that in this description again. Way better than what Lawrence calls my toilet seat cover. 
that that huge pillow just did not work out. The best moment this week was finally telling Magnus that I was pregnant. The expression on his face was wonderful. If you guys did not see that video, follow me on Instagram and you can see it. Unexpected symptoms. Nothing's unexpected. It's all expected. Skin conditions. Obviously, my face is very, very flushed. Uh, I... I feel like my breakouts are going away a little bit. Like, I'm not as nasty feeling as I was last week, but I have, like, stepped up my skincare routine. So, that makes me feel better. Food cravings. I don't really crave much yet, but whenever I get the hankering for something, I really want to have it. <sighs> like, last night... The whole night before we got somewhere to eat, I was like, I want mozzarella sticks, I want mozzarella sticks, I want mozzarella sticks. And then we got to eat somewhere, and mozzarella sticks were on the menu, but then I saw chicken nachos and it had jalapenos, and I was like, I want chicken nachos. So, I don't know. But I really want some ice cream. I got some magic shell to put on my triple chocolate ice cream tonight, so I'm gonna be eating some ice cream. Food aversions. tomato based but not pizza like Italian looking and smelling food no but pizza I love pizza no Italian food right now though have I started to show I don't know why I keep asking myself that question because obviously I am starting to show happy or moody most of the time this week I've been a little less rah, and a little more oh I have been a lot more emotional like cry wise but that's mostly just from like watching YouTube videos I was watching a compilation of um, soldier homecoming videos today and I just was laying in bed and I just had tears running down my face it was pathetic but those videos those just like rip your heart out you rip your heart out what am I looking forward to Honestly, I'm really looking forward to the 12 week mark in hopes that I will get some energy back and not be puking my guts out every day. That would be nice. I know that some people do end up being sick the entire pregnancy. I hope I'm not one of those people, but I know it can happen. So I'm like preparing myself for the possibility that it actually could happen. I just really hope it doesn't. Uh, I'm wearing my Kalo rings. I found them. <laughs> they are very comfortable. Like I told you guys the other day, I did get them a size up. I usually wear sixes and these are sevens and they are nice and snug. Darn it. Darn it. Yeah. No new stretch marks yet, but my belly is definitely growing. I feel, it feels tight. It just, it just feels really tight. And like, I'll show you in a second, but I definitely feel like I, if <laughs> I still haven't gotten anything to prevent stretch marks. I know they're genetic, but your skin's supposed to be moisturized. But I haven't got anything for that yet. And if I don't start doing something now, I feel like my skin's just gonna like split open. <laughs> Cause it's, it's stretching very fast. No movement yet, but hopefully within the next month or two, I mean, obviously within the next month or two, but you know, knowing that the baby is that big right now you can't feel any movement i know the baby's moving you just can't feel it like i said earlier i'm i don't know the gender i really was confident it was a girl and now i don't know still no cramping or bleeding which is wonderful my belly button is not out yet but it's definitely not as deep as it used to be i was actually feeling that earlier today i was like oh god this is happening really fast it's happening really fast Okay, so here's how much I weighed today. All right, and here is the belly, and I pulled these down a little lower than I normally do, just so you can actually see like, sorry, let me do this. Right here, underneath the nasty bump, is where my uterus is, and whenever I use the Doppler, every time I've used the Doppler, the baby has been right here. So that's cool. I mean, it's still obviously, this is just pizza because my uterus is right there, but it's all growing. This feels puffy. 
and I just in general feel bigger and this feels tight right here like I mean it obviously is tight because you can see my stretch marks not my stretch marks but my drag marks on my skin which is anyways I have been wearing maternity pants though they're so comfortable so comfortable but anyways I really look like I've been drinking I totally have not anybody else get like anybody else get like this I mean my pulse isn't elevated my pulse is only 86 which is you know pretty normal for me being pregnant but this is ridiculous and I feel like it's more on this side and it's hot I wonder if I have a fever yeah okay I'm getting really tired but I also need to eat dinner so see you tomorrow have a great day